and welcome back to another planet coaster yes this is the spider web we're still in the spooky spooky land let's go check this out so um i decided i was going to play launched coaster behind the haunted house of course at the moment there is a flat ride in this land that you can just see in the distance there we've also got the um interactive that ride with the shoot em ups in the last video if you haven't seen that go back and watch that and then um i had a coaster here before but i ended up demolishing it because it just turned out to be absolutely pants really really bad so i'm putting a new one in now and the idea is it's kind of like goes off down into a cave and then um you are launched and then it goes into the kind of big huge steel cobweb so here we are, and this starting bit, I like to have a little bit of a start before the start, if you know what I mean, let's just get rid of all this land here, um, and let's have a little cave exit, I'll come back and do the rest of the cave mm, later on, uh, we'll go up and we'll go into a top hat, so that's more like an inside hill, here we go, a nice top hat, hmm, hmm, So, um, there we are, <laughs> build, destroy, build, destroy, build, destroy, and then I built it, and I ran trains around it, and just like the first time, yep, the uh, track was too stressful, no one would go on it here, it was pulling like eight vertical G's or something deaf like that, real, you know, murderous roller coaster. Um, so now I'm just running the testing as I'm building it, because that's the best way to judge whether or not it's any good. Just about to finish it off here and under there winding in and winding out. Add some paths on, that was easy, coming off nice and simple. Um, I do want that to kind of come out the other side like I want this building to have like two spires so the queue system needs to be a little bit more exciting than this queue systems, um, my queue systems are actually quite boring, but they are getting better. In my latest one, in my kind of Volcano Bay, which is the next video after this, uh, the queue systems all go through all the rock work, so they're a lot better than they, than they are on this. Okay, so let's uh, check out some beaming from much later on. But just to give you an idea, there it is, it kind of loops back around the haunted house. Pretty cool. Nicely hidden the station from the actual ride itself, you wouldn't notice it was there. Uh, they don't look like they're connected to the same thing, which is kind of cool, and eventually you won't even be able to see that much from outside the area, because there's going to be a huge volcano in front of it. So, theming wise, let's continue our lovely kind of gatey, fancy thing we've got going on here. That's just a copy and pasty job. There we go, in, 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 and then um, I've built this building uh, around the station and let's just add some more detail to this. This building is in keeping with the rest of the area. It's the same, basically, same brickwork. Um, those shots and things we'll have a, another look at in a moment, we'll see how they've progressed. But for now, Let's take a look at this. Uh, some nice windows there. I want this area to look really nice at night, um, not just in the day. And in a minute, we'll, we'll run through the coaster operating at night and day. Uh, one stair, it's there, I think. Yeah. Uh, on a GeForce Now note, GeForce Now is behaving itself very well. Um, the premium service is still sold out in Europe. So I'm still on the free service, but to be honest with you, it's working fine and it kicks you off after an hour, which seems like a pain, but actually means I have a life. Uh, so here we are, much, much later, lots more theming gone into this uh, land, including I've boxed in the dark ride. The building on the left, the monorail station, needs a lot of detail work doing to it, but I've put these vendor units in here. I've boxed this uh, dark ride in, it's got like a graveyard setting to it, that looks great at night, needs a little bit more fauna around it. 
and then we've got over here the uh, PS de la Resistance, which is another um, shopping unit and toilets and ATM. Not finished. And the reason for that is this building forms the station for the next ride, which is going smack bang in the middle there, which is going to be likely a Tower of Terror style um, movie style dark ride. But I'm going to come back to that because I'm sick of doing dark rides at the minute. So let's uh, go through the queue system. Um, I've sped this up obviously because this queuing system inside isn't too spectacular although the people do seem to like it um, get down to the queue this train uh, this ride rate is on a free train operation so it does munch through the guests quite quickly um, one thing I've not done with my station designs is have the exit behind the station so loading and unloading is taking quite a while, that is something I'm changing in all future designs. And we're next on, which is exciting. Oh, and it's broke down. Great. Okay, let's just chuck an engineer in there. Oh, fix it. Thank you very much. Annoying. Really, I should just pause this sandbox mode and just play it. Right, let's get all the passengers off the ride. And send all the cars around again. There you go. Yeah, now let's let everyone back on. Now we can ride it. Awesome. Okay. Here we go. So, I'm going to sit at the back. So that's the best place to sit. Let's have a camera view there. There we go. And we go down, we go into a nice cave. Ooh. And you can't see any of the park. It's very quiet behind here as well. You would feel like you'd left the the busy park behind. And there's a small hold here for the last car to clear the circuit. There you go, you saw it just go past there. And then it brings us in to the launch position. Holds for a couple of seconds. And then we get a launch. Now what's worked out quite nicely with this is there's three cars on the track at once. Is it does actually duel. So you see there, look, you see, um, with all the cars, which is really cool. I think that's always a nice feature, isn't it? And you see something else moving around the, the, the ride. As long as it's not moving towards you. Or it's not not moving. Uh, there's two launches on this, there's a second launch, a smaller launch um, in the middle you really notice it. it's more like to maintain the speed rather than to boost you back up again and then we've got a slight mid ride section here where we do stop for a very brief second, you can have a look around uh, this will look impressive when that big volcano is built to the right and then yeah, there you go, you can see it started, that's like a little side run. And then off we go again. A little bit of jitter there from GeForce now. But apart from that, it's running well. And it is running this game very, very well. It's running it very, very fast. And uh, generally, most of the time, very smooth. You can throw it a lot of I think there's about 3,000 guests in the park at the moment. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I. Yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously that figure's going to go up and up and up. But it's nice to know that it has the power to deal with it. Whee! There you go. Nice little uh, roll there. And then all through the steel structure of the ride. Back over, back down, back round. And then back into the station. Need a little bit of greenery around here, a bit more fauna I think just to finish it off nicely and maybe camouflage that building a little bit but other than that nice ride very very nice so let's have a go at that at night shall we because it does look good when it's all lit up
Okay, so there we go. That was nice, and um, that's the second coaster in the park now. The, the next couple of videos are going to be a massive gluttony of coasters. I'm building uh, an inverted and a prop right next to each other. They're going to be pretty cool. Also, another flat ride and um, some sort of water ride on the lake, all built in a giant, massive volcano, active volcano. That's going to look sweet. Um, and then I'll come back and I'll do that ride for this area as well. However, it's looking, it's coming together this pack quite nicely now. I'm very impressed with it. I'm very impressed with this particular ride. I do like it. Launch coaster. I've made it so it's not too intense. And it's a fun, fun ride, I think. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. You can click on one of the links on the screen to visit one of the other videos, maybe you fancy a bit of Minecraft, um, or maybe uh, looking at some more Planet Coaster. And if you haven't been on the interactive Spooky Dark ride, do so, it is the last video. Thank you very much, see you soon.